Hi, Wilfredo. How is everything today? Hi, teacher. Everything's great. Thanks for asking. What about you? How was your day? I was really busy. Uh, why? I have you been preparing the presentation? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have received it. I, I'm I'm reviewing it uh, right now. In, fact, in the in the WhatsApp, but I or I just sent it earlier the video a video about phrasal the verbs. phrasal verbs. Yes. So the, to I, uh, the topic was not uh, idioms part two as I thought. So I I didn't review today's topic yesterday, but. Is the phrasal verbs the part two is next week, I guess, the, or tomorrow, mm. something like that. Oh, but, but today we are going to see phrasal verbs. Phrasal verb uh, is a very difficult subject because we want yeah. we need to learn the the phrasal verbs. Yeah, in, memorize in, that is memorize. the thing. Yes, in in order to 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 improve our English, but this is the difficult. We need to memorize the phrasal verbs. Okay, this is the part in which you you need a lot of personal personal study, and that's uh, difficult for some people because they don't have time. Uh, this yes. is the part in which is understanding is not the problem; it's practicing. Yeah, and, and in that case, I was looking for information of the phrasal verbs, and is uh, the same as the video. We have just the definitions, but in English, <laughs> and <laughs> there is a, a little, a little uh, difficult in that way because we don't have the explanation in Spanish. We just, uh, uh, we just have to 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 interpret the 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 the, the, the idea. The, the idea, yes. Mm -hmm. to, but mostly the, the context, idea. the idea uh, yes. and the context. Yes. That is important. Yes. That's why uh, yesterday I, uh, if you remember, you were doing an exercise in which you had to uh, join two sentences. Well, not two sentences, one sentence in one. And get the, the first idea with the second together and get a, um, only one sentence. And in that moment, that is when you get out of the class. Okay, you were disconnected, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I don't I, know what happened to you. I had uh, troubles with my internet connection again, and uh, I can connect when I try. Um, I can do the exercise. I couldn't do the exercise. Yeah, but some at the beginning, uh, you uh, Marvin said we finish. But I said, no, it's impossible you finish because you had to write again the sentences. That is not so fast. That is, it wasn't easy. It had to be a little time thinking. And at the end, well, I had to do it because nobody did it completely because of the time. Nobody? No, any group oh. couldn't do it. Okay, finish because of the time. Maybe if we, they had more time, they could do it. But because of the time, they we couldn't. They couldn't, so I had to do it. But uh, today we have a at uh, the beginning we have an exercise. Not see not the same, but can can say similar because you have to use the. The correct. It's about the, the idioms. Yeah, the correct idiom. Because at the beginning, if you have seen, I used to do a, like a review uh, the day before. Yeah, no, yesterday. Uh, in this case, yesterday's topic, right? Uh, I used to do a review about the previous topic. And sometimes I don't do it because the... The topic that is for the day is too heavy, too it's long. So I used not, not I not I not use I used to do it, but today I'm gonna do it. So 
Okay, it's the time to prove how, okay. how well you learn them. At least the ones that we studied yesterday. Because if we talk about idioms, hmm, let me tell you that it's a big topic. I was explaining to you yesterday that that's the reason why people who speak English here in our country, they don't understand uh, movies, they, they don't understand songs, they don't understand people talking in the United States because of the lack of the idioms, the lack of phrasal verbs. That is very important to manage. In your personal study, you can assign five, something like that, idioms and five phrasal verbs every day, maybe you will advance. Okay, now let, let's begin. I just was with talking with you because I guess all of them, all of the present are not present, are oyentes, right? I don't know who else is present. Uh, Rocio? Marvin? Hello, I'm here. Melissa? Present. I just checking because um, I need people here to the first activity. Veronica Lizette Sanchez. Okay, so I'm gonna make three groups and I hope at least, well, only three people are here who can participate. So I'm gonna try, well, that's the thing that I'm gonna do. Marvin, Melissa, and Wilfredo, the ones that are present. And I'm gonna get you together. And the rest, if they want to do it, they can do it too. Okay. Um, let me see. Jericho is coming. Wait a minute, because I am assigning the groups, because I need you working groups in this moment to do an activity. Well, okay, I'm not gonna, uh, better I'm going to present what you are going to do first. <laughs> I forgot it. Okay, in your PowerPoint presentation, you can do it, okay? But I'm going to present first the topic and the objective. Okay, the topic is how to use racial verbs. What is the objective? The objective is use racial verbs. Only that is, okay, use racial verbs. That is the topic, that is what we, are going to do and that is what is important today. Okay, what is the activity? Here you have only six sentences, only six. What you are going to do is rewrite, write again these sentences using an idiom. Okay, first difficulty is identifying what is the expression that can be changed for the idiom. 
In which idiom is the one that you have to use instead? Okay, in vez de, right? Instead. So, is clear the activity? So, you are going to write again the sentence, but using the idiom. Yes? Yes, Marvin? Yes, Melissa? Um, I know, that you, I know that you are there. Uh, we have to change the words the, and put there uh, uh, um, an idiom. To Using express an idiom. the same thing. Okay. Yeah, saying the same thing. Remember that I told you yesterday that when we use idioms, you can uh, use another uh, words in is English. But if you use idioms, it's better because that is that you are speaking more like a native speaker if you use idioms, right? Only advanced people can use idioms, more idioms. Now you are beginners, level five, you are beginning learning this, okay? You are beginning, so let us begin with this only 15 or something like that I gave you yesterday. Okay, it's clear. So I'm gonna do the the word the themes. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Voy a ver si les puedo compartir este, la pantalla. Bueno. Déjenme ver, ahorita la busco. Hello, María Jesús. We are working on an exercise. I want to assign you in a group. Okay, teacher. Okay, guys, who is going to present here? Um, solo ya, teacher. No, but Jaco is here too. Yes, but I have a problem with his computer and I tried to fix him so I can participate in this activity. So are you all home? Well, let me see if somebody's uh, entering. I can see if I... Can I sign here? Yes. Ya casi unos seis minutos. Es que tengo un problemita aquí con la PC y 
y no me está configurando como me, me va a reiniciar. Entonces ahí es donde me voy a salir un ratito. Ok. Mónica, are you going to participate? No, right. Verónica, are you going to participate? Hello, Edwin. Hello, teacher. Good night. We are, we are working on an exercise in groups to begin the class. I want to sign you in a, in a room. Uh, do you have a computer? No, I have a cell phone. Okay, so I want to sign you this in the number one. We will fail. Is everything okay, Jacob? Yeah, we see. And I assign you because Marvin is suffering. <laughs> Marvin is alone. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, I'm going to assign you to the number two. So see ya. Okay, I assign you in the group number two. Okay. ¿Qué dice en las cinco? En las cinco. En buenas condiciones o en grandes condiciones. Oh. Es negativo. No, no está en buenas condiciones. Teacher. Yes. We have a doubt in the number two. Uh, it, it is in, in simple present. But can we use the 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 the, the same way uh, as the as the idiom, for example, my present feet. continuous. You mean present continuous? Yeah, remember, because it is same.
take. Uh, hello, guys. Uh, my internet. I I was disconnected. My internet. If you saw that I didn't answer, is that because my internet failed? Oh, okay, teacher. Um, but uh, can you minutes. help us? Uh, I don't know but what is going to happen because 22 minutes and I don't see that uh, a video is, I am downloading the video. Well, Estoy usando mis datos en este momento porque se me fue el internet. Sí, le escuchamos bien, teacher. Yes. Vale, la número cuatro entonces, chicos. El otro es... My feet hurts. Uh -huh. <clears throat> My feet. Ahí está la teacher, la teacher. Una pregunta. Yes. En el caso de este de, de tip top shape, sí sería con is tip top shape. My sister is okay. How is in the manual the example? Do you check? No, no, he checkado todavía. Do it, please. Okay. Maybe something is missing. Eric, are you going to participate? Okay, the people are working Hi, in groups. I wanna sign you uh, one. ¿Y qué están haciendo, teacher? Perdón, me acabo de venir. <laughs> están haciendo una actividad en como ayer vimos los expresiones idiomáticas, but idioms. Y ahorita están ¿Sí? tratando de usar es, eh, idioms en unas oraciones que yo les puse. En vez de la fra sí. las palabras normales que no son frases idiomáticas, ellos van a poner las frases idiomáticas que vimos ayer. Okay. Bueno, yo lo voy a entrar y, y vea usted ahí y, y vaya viendo cuáles son. ¿va? Lo sí, voy a poner en uno, en un grupo. Vaya, gracias, Ticha. Okay, do you check the number one? You were asking me about the number one, right? Uh, guys, you have to rewrite the sentence. Now just the uh, idioms. No, rewrite the sentence. The instruction is rewrite. Okay. Mm. You have to write again the sentence, but using a, an idiom. And okay. in the case of what you say, tip top shape, 
You have to use exactly the same uh, uh, preposition in. Is in tip top mm -hmm. shape. Okay. Yes, because I see that you didn't do it. But when you write the sentence, you will be sure that you use it. Okay. Vamos a terminar de poner los idioms y luego reescribo la oración completa. Okay. Carlos, hello. Hello, teacher. Okay, uh, students are working in groups. We are making okay. a review, but I see that they are taking a lot of time because they are writing some sentences again using some idioms. So I want to include you in one group. There are only two groups. I want to include you in one, teacher. okay, in this moment, yes? Teacher, eh, solo <laughs> dice que voy, voy ahorita manejando porque aún voy de mi trabajo. Así es que voy a estar un rato de oyente y nomás llegue y yo me conecto ya como debo de ser. Okay, so when you uh, get home, tell me please because okay. I need to know. See you. Thank you, teacher. Yeah. La número dos es la que, la que me quedó la duda. Okay, what happened with the number two? Uh, we are using the plural are and killing. Yeah, it. because it's plural. It's Remember, okay. So, it is an irregular plural. It's okay. It's okay, the sentence. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, teacher. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, my classmates. How uh, a dog in the number five because uh, we are using a sick as a dog at the end, yeah. And what is the doubt? The, if the, it is correct, it, or yes, it, or no? it, yes, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is the one, it's correct. It's correct. I'm gonna okay, check Melissa. it okay. Let me take it some minutes to check it, and I'm gonna tell you if you have mistakes. No, the number six is not okay. The last one, right? Yeah. This this one. Aha, uh -huh. what is the uh, what is the phrase that you can replace it with an idiom? Uh, I think that is um uh, under the uh -huh. under the weather. Uh -huh. under the that weather, is the one, but wonderful. instead of what? Instead of what? Instead of uh when you uh, sorry, sorry, when you feel mm, feel under the weather. Feel or are where you when you are under under the weather. I guess it's because the the idiom is to be to be under the weather. And when you are using an accent, you have to use the verb to be, right? Because it's to be. And then you can say am is an R. In this case, because if you is R. So when, when you, you are uh -huh. Uh -huh. when you are under the weather. Uh huh. I call in. Oh, it's uh, no. Okay, the same. Stay home. Mm -hmm. And yes, you okay. get it. And the number one because the expression is in the top shape. In the top shape. So you have to use there. My sister is in the top shape. And you get mm -hmm. it, guys. And okay. I gonna call the 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 rooms. Thank you, teacher.
Okay, I get that you are the ones that are in my class. So, uh, Jacobo, did you finish in your book? Can you please turn on your cameras, guys? No, teacher, I almost have to. Turn on your cameras, turn on your cameras. Turn on your cameras. Turn on your cameras. Okay, um, the group number one, they did it, but Wilfredo, can you please share the, because the group number two couldn't finish. Okay, teacher, here you have. Okay, take a look, guys, take a look. Yes. Okay, stop sharing, uh, Wilfredo. Okay, ready. Thank you very much. So let's begin with the topic. That it was a review, <laughs> a big review. And I wanna tell you something, guys. Eh, fíjense de que el internet se me falló cabal en el minuto 21, creo. Y resulta de que veo yo de que no se me grabó un video anterior. Entonces, este, no sé si será problema para ustedes que les alargue un poquito el video de la clase para que me quede el video cabal. Yes. It's okay, teacher. Algunos les conviene porque hace más minutos más. Bueno, sí, les entraron tarde. Ok. Thank you. Okay, guys. How do you how do you feel the exercise? What do you think of this exercise? Y fue provechoso, sintieron que aprendieron. Yes, guys. Ay, cuando no me dicen nada, mi hijo. It was a little bit difficult, teacher. Uh -huh. <laughs> teacher some, some of them. <laughs> somos, muy somos muy tímidos por eso, teacher. Mm. Miren, así estoy, ven. <risa> ok, les continúo. Vaya, pero con solo unos cinquitos que les haya quedado, ya me conformo. Ok, les continúo. Okay, guys, remember that the topic for today is a phrasal verb, but uh, we are going to see the vocabulary related to the unit that is in the conversation and the exercises. Okay, we have a spawner, screw, power, here you go, by the way, engine, oil, workshop, lubricate, and technician. Okay, how many of these words do you know? I prefer to explain it in English, but for the ones that have problems, some problems I'm gonna tell you in Spanish. But if you know, tell me please. Okay, 
do you know what is a spanner? Spanner. What is that? It's like a key. It's like a key, right? But it's a tool. It's a tool that a mechanic it's... uses. Ah. Oh. O sea, ya, eso sería llave, pero de un mecánico. Yeah. yeah. It's like... No, a key, uh, key of a door. Yeah, it's not a key of the door. It's, it's a tool that a mechanic uses to repair machines, to repair cars. And it's, yeah, and it's a key, but it's not a key. <laughs> what is a key? Okay, the same word, but different meaning because different thing. Okay, what is a screw? Okay, the screw is the little object. Okay, Ro a tornillo, right? <laughs> tornillo, that is tornillo, or screw. A screw driver is the atornillador, right? A screw driver, but a screw only tornillo. Power, what is power? Power, the synonym is, is energy. It's the same as energy. You can say power or energy. That is the same. Okay, here you go. When do you say here you go? It's because you say you give something, right? Aquí tienes, right? Vamos. Aquí tienes. Eh, I use the expression here you are. When you say here you are, means... Aquí tienes. Aquí está esto. But it's the same. Here you go. Here you go. Aquí está esto. Aquí tienes. By the way, by the way is um connector. It's a connector that you use when you say a propósito. A propósito. The, De, estaba hablando de algo y dijo, de repente se acordó de algo más. Entonces dijo, by the way. Ok, engine. Engine, what is engine? All the machines have engine. The cars have engine. What is engine? It makes the machines and the cars work. That is the, 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 the motor. The motor, right? <laughs> okay, oil. It's a solution for. Yes. Mm -hmm. You can use it. <laughs> in other words. It, it's in the same word for cooking and for a car or for a machine. Okay, what is workshop? Wor workshop is the place in which you repair things. Everything in the um, place, you repair things, cars, yeah. yeah. That is the workshop. Lubricate. When you add oil to the machine, to the car, you lubricate, right? Technician. Technician. Some of you maybe are technicians. That is. Technical. Technical. Okay, everybody repeat. Spawner. 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 Screw. 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 Power. 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 Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Here, here, here you go. 
Here you go. By the way. By the way. By the way. Engine. 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 Oil. 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 Workshop. Oil. Workshop. 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 Lubricate. Lubricate. Technician. 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 The spawner, screw, power. Here you go. By the way, engine, oil, workshop, lubricate, and technician. Okay, what is energia? Power. A propósito? By the way. Taller? Workshop. Llave? Workshop. Llave? Spanner. Uh -huh. Spanner. Spanner, spanner. Spanner. <laughs> Técnico? Show. Técnico? Technician. Ajá. Uh -huh. Motor? En engine. Engine. Aceite? Oil. Oil. Aquí tienes? Here you go. Here you go. Tornillo? Screw. No le vayan a decir a alguien, te falta un screw, oigan. Te falta un screw. <laughs> ok, let's go. Eh, somebody, Melissa, do you want to read this, please? Um, Spanner, screw, oil, oil, power, are you go, by the way, engine. Ok, remember that when it's... Um, is a noun, is a noun, the first syllable is the stress. Engine, engine, okay. Engine. Yeah, this. Oil, workshop, lubricant, ignition. Uh -huh. Spanner, screw, power. Here you go, by the way. Engine, oil, workshop, lubricate, technician. <coughs> okay, continue. Okay, what is a phrase, Albert? What is that? Take this out. Okay, first of verse are very common in, in English. Very common, but people that are beginning, they don't know them. But you, yes, <laughs> you will. Okay, first of verse are very common in English, especially in more informal contexts. They are made up of a verb, by the way, made up is a phrasal verb. Made up is a phrasal verb. Are made up, it means that they are compound, compound of two words, okay? They are made up of a verb and a particle, or sometimes two particles. The particle often changes the meaning of the verb. Example, you have here the bird and the particle. Wake up, turn on, sit down. Okay, so in some grammars, some books, some uh, sites, they say that these are prepositions. I don't call them prepositions. When I was studying licenciatura in my university, they taught me that they are called particles, no prepositions. But in some books or in some sites, you will read prepositions, but they are not. Piense de que nosotros en la carrera que yo estudié, bueno, yo estudié con los mejores profesores del país, la verdad. Este, había uno que era doctor, que acaba de venir de Estados Unidos, era doctor en lenguas. Doctor en lingüística. Y nos enseñó la lingüística, un, el inglés, 
como un pollito que usted desmenuza, el inglés desmenuzado palmo a palmo. Entonces, este, ellos nos enseñaban ciertas cosas, por ejemplo, las proposiciones, todo lo en una oración tiene su propósito, tiene su función. Okay. Las proposiciones tienen su función. Eh, no es que es una proposición. Yo, por eso es que no me gusta llamarlo preposition, porque podían ustedes confundirlo con una proposición. Ok, entonces estos no son preposiciones. Son palabras que le vamos a llamar particle, que se unen al verbo y junto con el verbo tienen un nuevo significado. Un verbo solito puede tener un significado. Ya si se le agrega una partícula de estas, ya tiene otro significado. Más contextual. Eh, hablábamos al comienzo de la clase con Wilfredo de que los idioms son bien contextuales. Igual los phrasal verbs. Son bien contextuales. Entonces, depende de la situación, así ustedes lo va a usar. ¿Ok? So, those are the phrasal verbs. Two words. A verb and a particle. Together, they have a different meaning. They have a meaning. Okay? These are very simple. For example, you know some of them as uh, everyday activities. For example, wake up, uh, get up. Okay, some of them are very easy, sit down, stand up. Okay, let's continue. Okay, here we have some. Okay, look the pictures. What do you say these idioms are? The, the phrasal verb, sorry. Uh, ah, well, <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Because I didn't change something here. <laughs> okay, here you have the pictures. Do you know, can you say a phrase up there for this? Do you imagine what Phrasal verbs you can use. Okay, I'm going to show you the words, the phrasal verbs. Look, this is tighten up, clean up, switch off, pull up, six, six, up, six up, take after, turn off, fall off. Okay, tighten up, clean up, switch off, call up, six up, take after, turn off, call off. Okay, get the words, please. And if you can see in your cell phone this presentation. Then, what do you think is the number one? Clean up. Switch off. Tighten up. Pull up. Six up. Clean Six up. up. Which? Sorry, Marvin. The first one, I think it's clean up. Clean up. Look at the pictures. Maybe the second one can be clean up. Yeah, the second one is clean up. Look the action, clean up. But in that case, teacher, the number, number one, uh, can be, um, I don't know, because turn on, I apply it uh, on the energy. Yeah, this one. 
a turn on or but turn I suppose off. in the in the first one the action is is the same but in other context but what do you think is this all right Are you right turning on something or what is exactly the action mm. switch off Okay, switch off. Do you know what is switch? Uh, the place in which you plug something is the switch. And so what is the switch off? The picture number? Number seven. Number seven, this one. Number three. Yes, yeah, it's the number three. Because this is the switch. And what are you doing? Switch off, switch off means like a unplug. unplug. It's synonym uh -huh. or unplug. It's, remember unplug? You say switch off. Okay, what do you think is the number four? We have tighten up, clean up, switch off, call it up. It can be call up. Call up. Call up. Or it can be call off. Because we have two with call. Call up and call off. Okay, and the number five. Okay, I'm gonna tell you guys, but I'm gonna tell you once and then you remember, please. The number one is tighten up. Because when you are tighten up is you are socando algo, right? Okay, tighten up. That is something that you are tightening up. Socándole la tensión, ¿verdad? ¿Se han fijado en las máquinas de coser? Tienen una tensión. Usted le da vuelta así y usted lo está socando. Okay, it's tighten up. Tighten up. The second one is clean up. Three, switch off. Four, call up. Five, Six up, six up. Number six is, number six is, take after. Look at the father and look at the boy. Take after. Okay, the number, this is turn off, turn off. And this is call off, call off. Yes? Okay. Now again, tighten up, clean up, switch off, call up, six up, take after, turn off, call off. Tighten up, tighten up. Remember what I told you about the pronunciation. If the word finishes with a consonant and it begins with a vowel, you have a single word. In phrasal verbs, used to do that. En los phrasal verbs es bastante común que el, el sonido se una, ¿ok? Se una. Wait a minute, please. Well, well, later, but I'm gonna do because uh, for the internet I have to change. I have to switch from my cell phone to my Wi-Fi of my house. Okay, you have tighten up, tighten up, nap, nap, tighten up, nap, tighten up. Clean up, clean up, switch off, switch off, call up, call up, lap, lap, call up, six up, six up, six, six up, six up, take after, take, take up, take up, take after, take after, take after, turn off, no, no, turn off, turn off, call off, 
love, love, ka love. Okay, now uh, we are gonna go to the, let me see, wait a minute, yes, it's over. We are gonna go to the manual and to understand this better, but wait a minute, please, because I wanna switch my internet service. Okay, it's done. Now look at in the manual, what do we have? Maybe what yesterday's topic. Yes. Okay, look at the conversation. And you will understand the context of these phrasal verbs. Okay. I want to read it. Tom, I need your help. Can you pass me that spanner, please? I need to tighten up this screw. Okay, what what does he need? A spanner. Uh, uh to tighten up the screw, right? Screw. Lo va a aflojar o lo va a socar? Tocar. Yes. Sure. Here you go. Thanks a lot. Look. Did Kit clean up the room before he left? Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked him to switch off the power. ¿Qué va a hacer él con la energía? ¿La va a encender o la va a apagar? Apagar. Yeah, desconectar, ok. Desconectarla. Yeah. Number, uh, next, <laughs> sorry, number. Is Great. By the way, did you call up the electrician? The engine doesn't stop to turn off. And now we have a problem. Okay, yeah. I think that if you don't oil it regularly, it will seize up eventually. If that's correct. What it will happen to the to the engine if you don't use the oil? What is this problem, sis up? Okay, if you don't use the oil, what can happen to a piece or to a machine? A piece of the machine or a machine in general? If you don't use the oil, what can happen, guys? A Por falta de lubricación se reseca. Ajá, se reseca, pero además de eso, ¿qué le pasa? Como atascarse o algo se así. Cabal, se atasca, se... Eh, como decía, se... Sí, atasca, se... Es que era otra palabra que quería usar. Pero sí, atascar está bien. Se bloquea, se... Engrana, algo así, ¿verdad? Se engrana. Engranar, ¿saben ese término? Que no rueda, que no, no se mueve, ¿verdad? Sí, okay. chef. Yes. En, engranar es la unión de dos engranes. Ah, no pues no, entonces no era eso. ¿no? <risa> 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 eh, bueno, no se mueve, sí. queda atascado. No, no, ajá, se bloquea. Podría ajá, decir, se, se bloquea. bloquea. En la computadora, por eso se acuerdan cuando les presenté el de PowerPoint, había una computadora que estaba un, 
un candado, o sea, porque ese término se puede ocupar también en la computadora, si la computadora se bloquea, es CISAP. O sea, que se les, ahí se les pone que no les quiere trabajar, como lo que le pasó hoy, ¿verdad, Jacob? Eso Ajá. es Esto CISAP. se reinició por, por actualizaciones. Como... Bueno, la cosa es de que aquí. usted no pudo hacer nada. Eso sí. <ríe> ok. Es clear. Are the, are the phrasal verbs clear? What is tighten up? Tocar o atornillar. Clean up. Limpiar. Switch off. Desconectar. Desconectar. Unplug. Call up. Llamar. Turn off. Apagar. She stop. Entrampar. Entrampar, lo que sea. Ok, so... Let us go to the PowerPoint again and let's ask again about the pictures. Okay, what, what is the picture number one? Tighten up. Two. Clean up. Three. Switch off. Four. Call up. Five. Size, size up. Size no up. Size up. <laughs> uh, this maybe this is it's not including the conversation, right? It's including the next exercise, but this is uh, take after. Take after. It's like you say the father is like uh, the son. Similar. That is when you say take after. The, to look like someone else. Yeah. Uh, the song is like a is a, the song takes after his father. Say his song is like like a his father. Like a his father. Similar. Do you understand? Yes. 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 Okay. What is this? Number seven. Turn off. In this? It's not in the conversation, Enough. right? But this is similar to say cancel. Call off. Yeah, call off. Now let's go again to the manual. But after I continue, I better I better uh, have the attendance. Let me pass the attendance in this moment, please. Okay, Alexandra Michel. Ana Rosillo. Present. Who said who said present? Alexandra or Rosillo? Alexandra, teacher. Tengo un poco de internet. Ana Silvia. Palmore. Carlos. Edwin. Edwin. Emerson. Eric. Jacob, George, Julissa, present, Maria Elena, Maria Jesus, present, Mario. Oh, Mario was at the beginning. Marvin. 
Present. Alisa. Present. Monica. Oscar. Veronica Serna. Veronica Sanchez. Wilfredo. Present. Let me see who are present and didn't say. All right, I already checked the one that didn't say present. Okay, uh, given the explanation of the manual, here you are. Well, <laughs> sorry, but uh, I didn't, we didn't practice this and we have to do it. Okay, and remember the conversation, I'm gonna read it again, and then you answer the questions. Say, Tom, I need your help. Can you pass me that spawner, please? I need to tighten up this screw. Sure, here you go. Thanks a lot. Look, did clean up the room before he left? Did Kit, right? Kit is the name. Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked him to switch off the power. Great, by the way, did you call up the electrician? The engine doesn't stop to turn off and now we have a problem. Yeah, I think that if you don't oil it regularly, it will seize up eventually. That's correct. Can you answer the three questions please in this moment?
ready guys not yet Okay, guys, enough is enough. <laughs> Do you see the video <laughs> that I sent in the WhatsApp? There is one. Mm, well, no teacher. No, no, I didn't send this. Uh, I No, I didn't send this. But when you say enough is enough. <laughs> This is a uh, slam. Okay, tell me the answer for the number one. What seems to be the problem? What seems to don't, be the problem? Don't boil it. Regularly, yeah. Mm -hmm, but maybe here says okay, the engine doesn't stop to turn off. And now we have a problem. That is the the problem, right? What kind of child do you think Dave and Tom have? Maybe technicians. Yeah, technicians. Technicians about are they electricians or mechanics? Uh, and mechanics because they need to call an ele electrician. Yeah, that's right. You have to deduce the information, right? Number three, who is in charge of checking the machinery and equipment at your workplace? For example, you, Jaco, in your workplace, who is the who is the person in charge? In charge is the cargo, right? 
in charge. Who is in charge of checking the machinery and equipment at your workplace? Normally, who are the ones that are in charge in every place? The mechanics. The mechanics. Yeah, the, the mechanics. mechanics. Do you think the engineers can do it? If you are a mechanical engineer, can you check the machinery and equipment at your work equipment at your workplace? Mm -hmm. Do you do that? That is one of your uh, duties. Mm -hmm. Hey, come on, guys! You, I am asking you because I know that some of you are engineers. Teacher, bueno, no puedo como Yeah, you, you know, but you don't find the words in English. That's your, the problem, Jacob. Uh, es que, es decir, indirectamente yo no estoy a cargo de, de maquinaria, sino que estoy como de presupuesto, algo así. Ah... <laughs> Sí, estoy a cargo, lo, pero lo están, los... no directamente. Es decir, estoy a cargo de los supervisores que supervisan esa parte. Pero no será que entonces que usted es un ingeniero industrial. No, soy mecánico, pero estoy a cargo de los supervisores de producción. Es decir, estoy arriba. Mm -hmm. Ajá, no, es decir... Vaya, esa es la pregunta que yo hacía, si usted era Ajá. el que estaba a cargo. Ajá, sí, yo estoy a cargo, pero no sé cómo decírselo. <risa> no, usualmente no, los ingenieros son los jefes. Por eso Esos yo, estoy mandan. Cargo, yo estoy a cargo de los supervisores. Ajá. Es decir, de los supervisores de tanto de mantenimiento como de, de producción de metal mecánico y de obras exteriores. Entonces, pero no directamente yo veo así un un problema de una máquina, sino que llegan hasta que ya toparon, vaya, no hayan que hacer, va, entonces se llega ya uno a ver que involucrarse, pero hasta que ya pasó por todas las la escalas, digamos. O sea, serían dos escalas, va. Primero es, está es, el technician. Ajá, primero está, no, está no, el no, supervisor. No, ajá, el, super, y, el supervisor. Y después el que, último que usted de la arriba es el engineer. Ajá, que soy yo, y después está mi jefe, que es el gerente de general, digamos, gerente de, Ajá, de, de, de planta. Ah. Yes. Ah. The general manager. Ajá. Ah, ya lo estoy poniendo en problema, Valleco. Sí. <risa> La teacher me va a investigar, dijo usted. No estoy haciendo mi trabajo. <risa> Como no, no pero... but I know. <risa> but I, that's, that's what I wanted that you answer. If you, as an engineer, are you in charge of shaking the machinery and equipment at your workplace. And you say, no teacher, I am not in charge. No in charge, okay. I am not in charge of checking the machinery and equipment. I am not in charge the checking the machinery. Uh, the machinery yeah. and equipment. Machinery and equipment. You can say it, Jacob, you can say it. Okay, guys, <clears throat> we are not gonna practice the, the conversation because of the time, even I wanna take some minutes extra, but I need that you practice this. Okay, some verbs are two parts verbs. They consist on a verb and a particle or a small word like a preposition. It's like a, like a similar, but it's not the same. This is not a preposition, okay? It's not working as a preposition. The particle often gives a new meaning to the verb. For example, you have take, okay? For example, you have take. What is take? It's tomar, right? It's tomar, agarrar. 
But if you add after, you say take after, take is not agarrar anymore. What is the new meaning? He takes after his father. He looks like his father. You see the, the new meaning? Or he behaves like his father. <coughs> In this case, take after is look or behave like a someone else. You can say uh, that Wilfredo is like, a, is, uh, he takes after his brother. No, not always like a, his father, right? It can be any person in the family. If, he, if they behave or is similar, you can be a friend too or your boss. For example, I can say, Jacobo takes after his boss in the company. But in this case, I'm not saying that he looks like, maybe yes. Like, no gente se parece, okay? But I am saying that he behaves, behaves is, se comporta como, right? Looks like, se ve como, se ve como, apariencia física. But behaves like is, que se comporta como, okay? So I can say, he takes after if he, the person looks like or the person behaves like. Call off, what is call off? Mary call off the meeting, Mary cancel the meeting. When you can, everything is canceled, not only a meeting, can be a match, a soccer match, can be an event, can be a date. Una cita, right? Me podría ser una cita, la que usted cancele y siempre va a decir call off. Okay, cualquier cosa que se cancele. Call off. Call off. Okay, now let's go to the exercise. Mm, exercise number five. Match each verb with its preposition of particles, right? And complete each sentence with one of them. You have off, up, up. Off, up, up. Example, tighten up. Okay, do it please. Okay, very ready because we don't have much time. Guys, I'm gonna ask you number one, tighten. Up. Up. Two. Up. Switch off. Three. Clean up. Clean up. Four. Up. Tie up. Tie up. No, this is six. six. The pronunciation six. is six. 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 Six, six. six up. up. Six up. Uh, yeah, six up. Uh, turn number five. Turn up. Turn up. 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 Six. Call up. 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 Because we have call up and we have call up, right? 
but here only one call. Now look at this exercise. You are going to use the correct phrasal verb in the correct position. And the number one, can you pass me that spanner? I need to tighten up this bolt. What is bolt? I didn't include this word in the vocabulary, but do you know what is bolt? Is the object that goes with the screw? Is the little object that goes with the screw? The they object that, they, that we use. Uh huh. We have ball is tuerca. <laughs> El screw va en la tuerca, va.
I think it's very, this is easy, right? Mary, yes. Mary, nice to see you. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, teacher. Thank you. <laughs> you have been quiet. I'm a quiet. I know that you are not quiet. That's why I say, Hi, Mary. I miss her participation. You always participate. What do you think are the phrasal verbs clear, Mary? The sentence number two. Um, no, the phrasal no. verbs. Eh, ¿Le quedaron claro los phrasal verbs? Sí. Yes, teacher. Okay. Balmore is visiting us. Why you didn't Hello, enter teacher. yesterday in early today? Uh, yes, teacher. Es que no había mucho traffic. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Eh... Y Valmore, no sé si preguntarle aquí en la clase, pero este me adelantó un poquito en plataforma. Eh, en proceso, teacher. No lo he terminado. ¿eh? Pero usted no tiene problemas en entrar, ¿va? ¿Puede entrar? No, no sé, sí, sí, sí. Es que me, me ha atrasado bastante. Sí. Pero ya eh, hoy, hoy, entre hoy y mañana, lo, lo me actualizo. Okay. Alexandra. Sí, teacher. How are you? How do you feel in this moment? No lo escuché. How do you feel? How do you feel? Do you listen? Me escucha, Alexandra. Permítame, teacher, permítame que no, no escuche bien. Dígame. Y, bueno, en inglés estaba preguntando que cómo estaba. <risa> Ay, perdón, teacher. How do you feel? Le pregunté. How do Soy más dormida que despierta. I'm fine, teacher. Mm. Eh, ¿Cuándo va, va, me va a hacer el honor de que la conozca de cara? <risa> es que eh, tengo problemas con, con, con mi cámara. No sé qué le sucedió a mi, mi hermano que ocupa, o sea, también la, la tablet y en mi celular. O sea, mi celular está, se quebró. Entonces, si la camarita le salía. Y por eso ya no puedo eh, activar la cámara, ¿verdad? Y en el otro dispositivo igual... Eh, se queda oscuro, yo la activo y se queda oscura. Y le voy a probar. Ahorita acabo de activar la cámara. Y creo que se ve negro. Sí. Se ve negro. 
no sé cuál es el, el, el inconveniente que tiene. Sí. Mire, teacher, fíjese que yes. estoy preguntando por la plataforma. Eh, a mí solo me falta la tarea 13 de la sección 3. Ajá, o sea, la de ayer. En esa, en esa tuve... Eh, Dificultad. Ajá. O sea, dos me salieron bien y tres, las otras tres me han salido mal. Fíjese de que esa no la he hecho yo. Ah, ok. Esa la voy a hacer más noche y, 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 y me consulta así en privado. Ok, y de la sección 4 eh, de la tarea 17 tengo problemas. Igual en el, y del, del examen, ¿verdad? Son... 17 sería como la del martes de la otra semana, ¿verdad? Sí. Ajá, y... va avanzada, está bueno. Ajá, diga. Es que ahorita que no me siento tan cansada y tengo un poquito de tiempo, estoy tratando de sacarla, Tichi. Está bueno, está bueno. Y en, el y en el examen, igual eh, en las mismas tareas que me hacen falta contestar, son donde tengo problemas para contestarlas. Pero ese del examen en medio, midterm. Mm, no, el, final, final? El, el último, el final. Oh, wow. Bueno, me voy a adelantar yo también entonces para ayudarles, porque si sí, yo voy así al día, este un oh, poco wow. al día, este, porque este, como a veces no es que yo tenga problemas en las respuestas, sino que a veces tiene como dificultades en cómo se llena. Por ejemplo, la vez pasada tenían problemas porque no era que había que escribir toda la oración, sino que solo era una palabra. Y cualquiera podría haber dicho que era la oración, ¿verdad? Hasta yo me fui no. ahí. Pero no, solo era la palabra. Entonces, cositas como esas hay veces hay que ver. Y si no hay algún error en, en, en las respuestas, porque a veces se ha dado ese inconveniente de que hay errores en, en, en eh, para bueno para esta. todos teacher disculpe que le interrumpa para todos en la tarea 17 la número 4 es lo que se estaba mencionando es solo utilizar el el call que nos han dado y la última frase es solo hacerlo ah. ahorita con lo que se estaba diciendo lo puse en práctica uh -huh. Exacto, de esa manera se tiene que hacer. Solo entonces, solo la, la palabra. No es de poner eh, toda la oración, sino... Sino solo... que solo, así como el ejercicio que les puse hoy, que en vez de decir la frase ponen un idioma. Así es, y aquí, el, bueno, aquí ya nos lo da el, el COVID, tenemos que, que ocupar. Mm -hmm. Y la palabrita que está en paréntesis. No, pues ahora tengo problema con la sección, la lección eh, de la 3, la número 12, Tichi. Uh -huh. Igual, siempre de eso. Ok, la, la voy a contactar personalmente, ok. Vaya, Tichi. Para que hablemos más de esa respuesta, si es que alguna no, no le da todavía. Ok. Eh, everybody... <ríe> Uh, let us answer this. Help me, please. Okay. In the number two, this workshop is very dirty. Let's clean up this place. Clean up. Clean up this place. Three. Remember to switch off. off. Switch off. Switch off. Switch off. Switch off. The power before you remove the machine. I hope the computer won't turn off. Turn off. Turn off. Again, do you don't lubricate this type of machine regularly? They will seize up. Seize up. 
Uy, uy, uy. Sí, sap. <coughs> The printer just stopped working. We need to call up. Call up. A technician. Okay. All of you have these answers? Can I grade it with 10? Todos lo tuvieron bien? Todos lo contestaron como era? Yes. So your grade is 10. <laughs> I don't like it because it disappears. <laughs> okay, let's. Okay, guys, we are going to do the next. That is a conversation. Six. Okay, your turn. It's your turn, not mine. Okay, a student A, you are a supervisor. A student B, you are a maintenance personnel. You both, okay, the two, have to check that a machine has received the necessary maintenance. As an answer questions using phrase of verse. Okay, so the conversation is about the maintenance of a machine and an equip or some equipment. You are going to ask Questions related to that topic using phrasal verbs. Is that clear? So we have here only two people. We are going to make pairs. Is clear what you are going to do? Yes, it is. Okay, how many of you are here? Let me see. Yeah. I wanna make. Yes, eight cups. Are you here, Yulisa? Yes, teacher. Okay, I want to add you to Marvin.
Are you here, Oscar? Hola, teacher. Sí, aquí estoy. Okay, I wanna add you to Mary Jesus. Are you here, Carlos? Hello, teacher. Eh, aquí hace más o menos se integró. Hace unos cinco minutos apenas. He eh, hecho la explicación que di sobre lo que iban a hacer. ¿La conversación? Sí. Eh, no, teacher. O sea, sí la escuché, pero... pero... Pero no la logré ver porque todavía venía en camino. Mm, bueno, voy a ver si le pongo a alguien entonces. No, o sea, usted no tiene el manual. Ahorita sí, porque ya estoy en mi casa. Vaya, entonces le voy a decir en qué página. ¿Qué página es? La página es la 36. Vaya, ahorita lo, lo veo entonces. Es el ejercicio 6 donde va a ser el role play, una conversación. Sí. Ahorita estoy. Entonces, este lo voy a pasar con alguien, ¿ok? Bueno. George, are you are you present? Hola, teacher, present. No se ha unido al al a la pareja donde la mandé. Pero no estoy tan segura si él también está, porque no me contesta. Y ese que me, me sacó, este, este, no, pero no me metió a la sala. Sí, solo está ahí la invitación, veo que no se ha unido. Mm. Quiero ver a dónde, no, la sala de reducción. En la sala 2 lo puse. Vaya, voy que ya estamos aquí, veamos si está Mario, si no lo paso para otro. Mario, are you there? Yes, I am here. Este, ¿oyó las instrucciones de la conversación que van a hacer? Mario, cuando se va, ok, cuando se va a, va a encender su micrófono, no, tiene, no puede tener música. Porque sancionan el video de la clase. Ok, vaya, entonces voy a suponer que no. Voy a mandar a otra parte entonces. Yes, yes, what is going no, on no here? Está Marvin, tampoco. No está Marvin. No, porque creo que ya le estoy llamando, no sé si ha tenido problemas quizás con el audio o algo. Vale, entonces voy a ver, voy a salirme de aquí, la, voy a ver a dónde la, más la pongo, ¿ok? Ok, dicho. Melissa, do you have a partner, Melissa?
Okay, I sent you Melissa, but Melissa. Melissa, you have to do the conversation with Julissa. Tiene que hacer su conversación con Melissa, con Julissa. Las dos terminan en Isa, va. Julissa, Melissa. Ok, teacher. Va, entonces eh, espero que ahí se comuniquen la... Yes, amore. Eh, me sacó teacher y hasta y me volví a meter. No sé, se me canceló, no sé. ¿Con quién estaba? Con Carlos Coto. Ok, lo voy a volver a poner. Carlos Coto is eh, number three. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hi. Uh, did you practice your conversation? Eso estamos viendo, teacher, que nadie puede compartir. Yes. No tenemos la conversación porque nadie la ha pasado al grupo. Ahí es, lo van a tener que hacer en sus respectivos cuadernos. Solo por medio de decirte qué es lo que van a decir cada quien. Ah, bye. Uh -huh. Sí, no, no, no necesitan compartir nada. Solo lo tienen que decir. Ok. Dice, deben verificar una, que una máquina haya recibido la información necesaria de mantenimiento o el mantenimiento necesario, no sé. Hacer y responder preguntas, dice. Melissa. Melissa. Hola. Usted ya se me quedó los 10 minutos que hay que hacer después de la clase. No, no me quedaré. ¿Podría, eh, ¿Podría quedarse hoy? Sí, solamente que estaba presentando un problema de conexión de internet. Espero no me, no me vaya a dar problemas. Sí, porque eh, no sé si usted estaba al principio de la clase. Sí. Y oyó lo que pasó. Que a 20 minutos de haber comenzado la clase se me fue el internet. Entonces, como que no se grabaron esos 20 minutos, o sea, tengo que extender la clase y terminaríamos un poquito en las noches. Por eso le estoy preguntando. Ok, thank you. Tenimiento. 
Ese, ese primero de... Carlos, hello, nice to see you. Aquí estamos, aquí estamos, Tich. Eh, como que quizás le tocó trabajar ya tarde, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, a veces toca, pero ahí viene conectado todo el camino, escuchando Se ve, al menos. se ve cansadito. Sí. Y también Balmor. Le, Sí, nos está tocando pesado pasar. los trabajos, va. Sí, sí. En Ok. mi caso viajo a Santa Ana. Santa Ana, hola. Ah, pero sí, eso es cansado el viaje. Este, ¿Está claro cómo, qué es lo que van a hacer la conversación? Yo lo que entiendo es que como de supervisor y, el, y, el, y de mantenimiento, como que Ajá. van a chequear una máquina, algo así. ¿no? Ajá, sí, y las preguntas y respuestas van, tienen que usar los phrasal verbs. Uh Okay. -huh. Ya les avisé que se van, a, se van a tardar un poquito más, van a salir más noche hoy. Sí. Vaya. Ok, mi amor. Sí, you. Sí, you. Practice then. Démosle. Démosle, Eh, démosle. sí, voy yo primero. ¿no? Sí. Wilfredo, I need, pero voy a hacer que más grande porque no me voy a ver. Wilfredo, I need you to help me to check out the engine. We need to verify the oil level. And after that, we need to clean it up. Okay. Uh, sure, let's go. Fred, we need to pick up the battery. Second, we will clean up the fuses. Third, we need to check out the oil level. And after that? We need to check out that the bell of time is no side up, sitting up. And we finish by tighten up the cables of the battery. Right. Okay. Um, the key is uh, verify. 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 Mm. Battery, quiero ver. Fuses, cables. Uh, cables también. Cable. Uh, cable. Uh -huh. Cables. Cables estaba. Mm. Uh -huh. Ah, no, esta, 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 la, creo que no, 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 la, no, la, no la dijiste. Ah, no, no. Uh -huh. En CISAP es. Also. <coughs> CISAP. CISAP. Mm -hmm. this, this with the sound of T or D? This, Here this. it was sound uh, the sound of D. Of of D of D. This. Yeah, because you're using in the past, right? See, <laughs> see, sí, sí, yes, uh -huh. right. Yeah, six up, but very quickly it doesn't sound. <laughs> <laughs> six up, six up, six up, six up. Mm. Entonces, esta es nuestra corta conversación, teacher. Ya la terminamos, solo estamos practicando. Eso. It's okay. Actually, you are the only the one that have finished. Really? Yeah. ¿Sabes qué es lo que sucede? They eh, are beginning. no, no, es que lo que sucede es que me mandó con el experto en esto. Eso le dije yo a Jacob. Me mandó con el experto en lo que es máquinas, o sea, y no se nos dificultó, de hecho me iba diciendo qué es lo que podíamos, qué tipo de máquina, qué le podíamos revisar, se hizo más fácil. Es que me los mandé con el experto en máquinas y el experto en English. No. The perfect couple.
Sí, aquí ahorita pues solo vamos a, a practicarlo antes de que mm, Yeah. nos llame a la Yeah. breaker room. Yeah. Perdón, Sí. a la, la sala principal sería. Ajá, de main room. Vale, yo le pregunto, ¿did you clean up the printer? Entonces usted me va a preguntar. Yes, I did. Usted me responde, ajá, yes, I did. But Ah, luego it usted. picked up eventually. Esa es la respuesta mía. No, sí, esa es la usted. respuesta cuando yo le pregunté si, limpi si lo había limpiado. Uh -huh. George, I couldn't ask. Hello, teacher. <laughs> eh, como que se quedó solo en la sala, ¿va? ya no lo pude poner con nadie. Sí, teacher, me quedé esperando. <laughs> <laughs> bueno, ya casi lo saco. Eh, si se ha fijado, los he tenido más tiempo. Pero para ustedes mejor Sí. porque acumula más minutos, ¿no? Sí, sí que tengo problemas para conectarme temprano. Sí, yo lo que le, bueno, así ya fuera de, usted eh, se me ha quedado los 10 minutos de la clase siempre. O sea, 10 minutos que se queda los estudiantes, se ha quedado usted. Y No, si yo, te, hasta... yo tengo problemas con eso, fíjese, porque cuando les toca el turno, casualmente... No está en una vez, entonces me tengo que saltar y ahí es donde he perdido yo la, como la secuencia de quiénes son. Al principio llevaba quiénes eran, hoy ya perdí la, ya la perdí. Entonces, este, tal vez mañana, porque hoy ya llamé a, a otra compañera. Vale, de acuerdo, Ticha. Porque sí, yo creo que usted ya era un turno avanzado, ya tenía que haber pasado antes. Este, lo que yo les recomiendo a usted, es vea los videos. Vea los videos y repase. Eso es lo que yo les recomiendo. Trate de llenar toda la plataforma. ¿Cómo va con la plataforma? Sí, eso comencé a hacer esta, esta semana que fíjese que como también he, he tenido problemas de salud, estuve incapacitado, entonces eh, esta semana comencé a ver eso, los videos, porque intenté ir, ir llenando la, la, lo, las tareas, pero este, no entendí algunas cosas, entonces mejor comencé a ver los videos y ahí fui viendo cómo hacer las tareas. Entonces, este, mañana tengo planeado meterme de nuevo a la plataforma, pero sí la he avanzado. Los videos no, no necesariamente tienen que ver las dos horas de, que están ahí. Solamente va saltándose donde se ve en que Sí, está la explicación voy moviéndola. y donde está la solución Uh de los ejercicios. -huh. Uh -huh, la imagen voy moviendo y veo más o menos del tema, como Ajá. ahí dice el tema, Cuando cuando usted se empieza está explicando a hablar del tema. y cuando Uh -huh. lo, están haciendo los ejercicios. Sí, ajá, así dice. Uh -huh, para porque ver dos horas de son diez horas a la semana es bastante tiempo entonces eso es lo que yo les recomiendo vea los videos y llene la plataforma para que usted Sí, lo sienta único. de que va aprendiendo y pueda aprovechar el, el próximo módulo Sí, lo único que le iba a pedir un favor era que, eh, como ya me metí bien tarde al grupo, porque al inicio este... Este, estaba indeciso si, si, si comenzaba el curso por, por la hora, ¿verdad? Porque desde el inicio presenté problemas con el horario. Entonces, no, lo que no tengo es el manual, pero no sé si lo compartió en el grupo de WhatsApp o Uh -huh. Sí, en el en grupo el... de WhatsApp se compartieron como dos o tres veces. Es que como se compartió al principio, de ahí se agregaron otros, se volvió a compartir. 
Y allí se volvió a compartir, hasta un, un compañero de usted lo compartió una vez. Yo lo compartí dos veces. Eh, y un alumno, un compañero suyo lo compartió la última vez, me acuerdo yo. Entonces, vaya, si no lo tiene, entonces se lo voy a compartir. Se lo, lo voy a refrescar Sí, en el WhatsApp. Quizás ahorita sí, por lo favor. voy a hacer. Y está en el WhatsApp usted. Sí, ahorita sí. Sí, se manda bastante peces para que <coughs> eh, todos lo vayan sacando. Con, a medida se van metiendo el grupo. Está llorando el niño. El que tiene ahí en brazos, Eva. Sí, se despertó el bebé. Sí, por eso es que, que no, no puedo hablar mucho. ¿no? Sí, para tomar las clases se recomienda que sea una zona donde solo usted esté. Una zona de silencio y que tampoco como los demás están durmiendo. Algunos van. Sí. <risa> Vaya, por aquí ya lo encontré. Lo voy a reenviar, pero de una manera de... Como fue volviéndolo a mandar. No, no, no. Pero... Sí, era... No me da la opción de reenviarlo. Ah, sí, ya me dio. Vaya, ahorita lo está cargando, ya lo puede accesar. Vaya, voy a sacarlo a la sala, a los demás, y usted oiga la conversación. Bueno, gracias, Ticha. Solo tres me quedaron. No se me vaya a dormir, Jacob, <ríe> por lo que me ha contado. <ríe> ok, begin. Aún no, dicho. Ah, ya, ya estaba compartiendo a alguien ahí. Ajá. Ok, si you want to begin, eh, mire, solo los que me quedaron, ve, estos son los valientes. Ok, Wilfredo en Jacob. Okay, teacher. Uh, hi, Wilfredo. I need I need you to help me to check out the engine. We need to verify the the oil level, and after that, we need to clean it up. Hi, Jacob. Sure, let's go. First, we need to switch up the battery. Second, we will clean up the fuses. Third, we need to check out the oil level. And after that? We need to check out that the bell of time is not fixed up. And we finish by tightening up the cables of the battery. Right. Okay, excellent.
Applaus. You, you are my heroes. Okay, now Valmore and Carlos, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, you you have to begin, Carlos Valmore. Inicia Balmore. Hello, Carlos. Where are your production supervisor? Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, I am Balmore. Uh, I am Balmore. Um, um, machine. Uh, uh, maintenance person. Okay. I need to know. Yes, yes. I need to know the file the machine. It does not the start the process. Mm. Okay. Teacher. Yes. Es que nos, me, nos, me confundí en el orden. Eh, si quieren, nos da un poquito más de tiempo para arreglarlo. Porque... Uh, no, we don't have time. Ok, maybe you can present it tomorrow if you want. But we don't have time today. I give you an, I ask you an extra time, but at the end we pass the time. Ok, if you sí, want, que... Melissa and, Sa and Oscar. No, Mary and Oscar, yes. Okay. Mary, okay. Hello, Mary. Ah, bueno, teacher, nosotros solo anotaciones tenemos. No tenemos presentación. No, don't worry. It's okay. <laughs> okay. Excuse me. Okay. Hello, Mary. I need your help. Help check printing. Sure, let me check. Did you clean up the printer? Yes, I did. It is it, but this side up eventually. I think we need oil it uh, regularly. It is okay. Only teacher. Okay, thank That's you very much. <laughs> it's a short <laughs> Thank you for your support to stay later, guys. Thank you. And I want to ask you, Melissa, are you there? No. Yes. Okay, no. see, so I stay only two or three minutes more, right, it's Melissa? And everybody have a nice night. See you tomorrow. Si tuviera paletita, le diera. Ah, okay. O sea, si no estuviera you. presente, mejor dicho. Ah. <laughs> Thank you. Good night. Good Have night. Have a nice night. Bye. Bye. Vaya, sí, rapidito, Melissa. Eh, dígame, este, ¿qué es lo que no le quedó claro de la clase de hoy? 
pues de ahora hmm, pienso que sí me, me quedó claro. Lo único es los verbos de pasado participio, pero eso lo tomamos el día de ayer. Sí, eh, lo de, eh, en realidad eso es más de aprenderse de memoria. Si se ha fijado los últimos temas es más de aprenderse de memoria. Porque los verbos hay que aprendérselos. Y si la pronunciación, ¿verdad? Este, lo repasamos en la clase, lo que usted puede hacer. Eh, volver a ver el video donde la clase, donde la parte donde yo, yo los estoy repitiendo. Esos verbos, pues, al menos los que hemos visto en la clase, porque son los que también eh, le van a pedir en la plataforma. Eh, para que se le queden, ¿verdad? Porque no solo es de verlos así, sino que también se los empiece a manejar. Eh, puede hacer eso, por lo de la pronunciación. Y no sé si... Sí, porque el presente... la pronunciación... Perdón. Sí, porque la pronunciación es bastante distinta del pasado participio a, a presente simple. Sí, algunos verbos, pues, usted se ha fijado, son pocos los que son lo mismo. Por ejemplo, put... De poner va es el mismo en los tres tiempos. Hit, eh, no, hit es diferente. Quiero ver, no, hit es igual. También este, let, de dejar, let, es el mismo. De ahí hay varios los regulares. Son lo mismo del pasado, el pasado participio es lo mismo, porque todos terminan con ed. Y hay bastantes irregulares que son igual del pasado y del pasado participio. Por ejemplo, by es boat, boat, ambos. Pero los que son, digamos, si usted ya se puede los pasados en esos, no hay problema. La cosa es los que son diferentes los tres tiempos. Por sí. ejemplo, bright, escribir, es diferente. Por ejemplo, el pasado es broad y el pasado participio es britain. Do es en pasado did y en, pa y en pasado participio don. Y así, esos que son diferentes, podría usted hacer una listita y eso memorizárselos. Póngase como una tarea personal, memorizárselos. Y Después. en cuanto a los idioms que vimos ayer, lo mismo. Vuélvalos a leer y trate de ponerlos en contexto. Fíjese de que esa práctica no la hicimos, lamentablemente, pero porque no, no alcanzó el tiempo ayer. Pero era de que eso ustedes me lo pusieran en oración, en contexto. Aunque la práctica que hicimos hoy al comenzar, no sé si usted estuvo presente. Eh, no, una práctica. escuchar una parte. Ajá, estaba en vía de eso. Lo único que no lo hicieron ustedes, sino que yo lo puse. Solo ustedes lo que hicieron, el ejercicio pero iba en vía de eso, que ustedes aprendan a usarlos en contexto. Así se quedan, fíjese. O sea, venga usted, agarre uno y trate de hacer una oración con ese idioma. Y así se le van a ir quedando. Porque los idiomas no es de entenderlos, sino que de aprenderlos a usar, pero saber en qué contexto. Eso es lo, puede ser lo difícil. O lo dificultoso, usarlos en un contexto. Sí, porque más que todo el momento de compararlos, eh, ayer fue donde hubo bastante problema. En el caso que estaba trabajando con Oscar, ayer que estábamos haciendo las comparaciones, uh -huh. y sí vi que en, en la, casi la mayoría tuvimos bastante dificultades y al momento que estábamos viendo la, la última explicación que usted hizo, sí, ya, y ahí se notan los errores que se tuvieron. Sí, es que yo como eso fue la finalidad del ejercicio, que ustedes detectaran el contexto. Sí. O sea, el momento en que se pueden usar porque para entenderlo, porque si no de otra manera no se entienden. Ellos solitos, no, usted no hace nada por ellos solitos, tiene que usarlos en un contexto para que tengan significado. Ajá, o sea, tiene que hacer oraciones que... Que, que implique en el contexto. Ajá, así, así le aconsejo yo que se los lo estudie, al menos lo de la lección, lo que están ahí en, en el manual. Porque ustedes acuérdense que son principiantes y más adelante van a seguir con sus temas, avanzando más. 
Ahorita aparte solo es una introducción. Entonces comience al menos con eso, lo del manual. Así usándolas en oraciones. Lo mismo es sus phrasal verbs. Úselas en oraciones. Así se le van a quedar. Y práctica personal. Práctica personal. Uh -huh. Vaya, entonces eso sería todo. Entonces, Melissa. Bueno, muchas gracias. Okay. Have a nice night. Thank you.